Hi, hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most global markets have come off uh, quite staunchly overnight with the US uh, 30 SPX 500. Most American markets taking a big hit last night, down 1.7%. Trading below potential support at 16.401. Uh, we had a slight rebound this morning, but it does look to be capped. It's already uh, hit that resistance and been pushed right back down again. Next potential support, 16.178, and below that, it moves much lower. Um, and we are looking at the technicals now. We have more room uh, to maneuver to go lower and the fundamentals certainly are not very bullish right now as well so a lot of technical reasons for getting um, for having a bit more of a negative view um, but there's also a, a decent amount of economic data due out today and tomorrow mainly eurozone there's some retail sales in the us as well um, zdw report today 7 uh, 10 10 a.m uk time will be keenly watched by members of the of the eurozone watch the german dax or germany 30 and the uk 100. so um, UK 100 today is, is trying to move slightly higher. In fact, the American markets are uh, underperforming the rest of the European uh, counterparts, and they've had a little bit more of a bounce this morning. Um, but they're not out of the uh, not out of the woods yet. Next potential resistance 6390. Uh, we are in the middle of two ranges. 6216 is probably the next potential support in the UK 100. Technical indicators are already oversold, so they've obviously come off a lot more than the American market for the last couple of sessions. Um, but there's not yet a signal being um, given to, to buy back yet. So um, I would expect there to be a, a, a slight spike higher, followed by continued pressure, um, eyeing up that move uh, towards potential support at 62.16 um, if the fundamentals remain quite negative. Um, looking at Japan 225, uh, very volatile session yesterday. We've went from uh, from negative from, from positive into negative, and today we've tried to have a bounce, but been pushed right back down again, probably followed by that move in dollar yen. The yen strengthening, we are seeing some moves in gold as well, unsurprisingly, um, as safe haven assets become the order of the day. So we're trading um, below potential support at 49.77. Um, if we get a break and close below that, that's obviously quite negative. Next potential support at 14.219. So um, a fair amount of potential downside in Japan, 25 should dollar yen I continue, continue to reverse course. So having a look at that just now, we have broken potential support at 107 spot 36. On dollar yen, we've got to be eyeing up 105 spot 44 now as the next potential support. That would also be the 21 period SMA. Technicals still show more room for manoeuvre uh, and it's not a, a very pretty looking chart either after this huge massive up, up, upswing. We are building momentum to the downside. So again, we've had a bounce trying to uh, move higher, but it looks capped by 107 spot 36. So that is a strategic level on dollar yen to be aware of. Uh, and depending on your on your view on where uh, the end is going to go next, um, you'll, be, you'll either be looking at 105 spot 44 or a rebound higher to 110. But I think that's a bit of a harder stretch in the current fundamentals. So looking at crude oil, West Texas, $85.65 continues to be the level to watch. We've had um, three sessions now where that has been significant, including today. Um, looks to be that gains might be capped in the short term. Uh, as we build a consolidation here to decide which way we're going to break out. Uh, obviously, next potential support is at 83 or $84, followed all the way down at 77 spot $40. And uh, um, Saudi Arabia have privately said to a number of, uh, of crude participants they're quite willing to accept an $80 barrel of West Texas. So we have a $4 um, potential downside to, to factor that in. So I don't think there's going to be any cuts in production for West Texas anytime soon. So looking at gold is having a, a good resurgence right now. And we are just trading just above uh, potential uh, resistance in the very, very short term. Uh, and things are, if you actually have a look at this potential level right here, we are pretty much bang on there at 1235. And uh, if we get a break above that, we are looking at 1267 as well. So trading above that 21 period SMA, we are also looking at the uh, next uh, 55 period SMA is all the way a, a lot higher here. Uh, we've not had any big push through it above 1235, but certainly we are seeing a little bit of a resurgence after being all the way in the, on the doldrums around about here. So um, there are, so the fundamentals are obviously helping to, to, to promote that. As long as there's uncertainty, yen and gold will continue to be in play. So looking at euro dollar, so as time goes on, it looks less and less likely the US is going to raise rates anytime soon. So that starts getting priced out of the market. But then the eurozone is not really that great either. But they're they're probably more likely to cut rates and do QE in the future. So um, euro dollar is a tougher one to call. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of volatility. It does look at one spot twenty seven forty six 
is the potential resistance again strategic level to watch uh, this will be the pivot so we're either going to break above that and go and rechallenge 130 or this is going to remain, remain in place and we'll be looking at the sub 120s again so finishing up with GBP USD um, you know the trend is kind of really speaking for itself right here looking very bottom heavy uh, one spot 6009 is the next potential support followed by one spot 5917 um, we are you know the, the, the trend here is uh, quite easy to spot and downtrend and move down downtrend move down so I could I could almost kind of imagine we would we would get closer to one spot 5742 followed by another another arch um, but again it depends on the fundamentals so today uh, is Tuesday so we've got a whole host of UK data you've got a CPI and RPI uh, due so make sure you've got your reoccurring alerts set up for that and um, we've got the ZEW business report as well uh, which is always uh, going to be keenly watched uh, so again uh, euro dollar uh, euro sterling and um, the Germany 30 will be good to look at and if we fast forward on to Wednesday we've got Chinese CPI <coughs> which will be uh, again I'm going to set my reoccurring alert for that one as well uh, and we do have jobless claims in the UK and their um, PPI and retail sales in the US so again all, obviously all keenly watched there as well and uh, we do have some crude oil um, data on Tuesday evening at 9.30 as well. So keep your eye on the chart for make insights part of your late going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.